A lot of motorcycles with clip-ons can be quite uncomfortable, especially when doing long distances. But you can get conversion kits to convert them from clip-ons to handlebars for a more comfortable riding position. In this video, we'll show you how to fit one of those kits. The kit we bought is from Top Yorks UK. It comes with the top yoke, the risers, the handlebars, longer brake lines, and all the bolts to secure it in place. So the first job is to remove the old handlebars, top yoke, and brake line. So that's all the old stuff off, ready to fit the new stuff. Now I'm going to start with the top yoke. I'll first put the ignition barrel on the yoke and then fit the yoke over the forks. Now, very important step, once you've done that, you torque up the top stem, uh, the steering stem nut. Once you've done that, you then do the pinch bolts. Don't do it the reverse way. The reason for doing it this way is if you was to do the pinch bolts up first, and then the stem nut, it's going to try and warp the top yoke. So you do the stem nut first. That, make, that dictates the height of it, makes it nice and flush, and then you do the pinch bolts up. So I'm going to get on that now.
Now the top yoke's on, next job is the risers and handlebars. When doing up the handlebars, you want to make sure that you do up all the riser bolts up evenly. Make sure it's comfortable when you sit on it, nicely aligned from left to right, and you torque them up from front to back. So once you've fitted the handlebars, the next thing is to fit the grips and the throttle cable. I actually had to reroute the throttle cable down the right side of the frame on this bike um, because the cable just isn't long enough. Um, but your, your bike might be different, it might be the same, all, all bikes vary. The reason why I fitted the grips first was where the grips are, that dictates where the switch gears are. Where the switch gears are dictates where the levers are, so you have to start with the grips. Um, they're in a set position, so then you know exactly where you put the other parts. Now, next I'll be moving on to the switch gears, but before I do, most switch gears have a little locating pin. Now there's two ways you can go about this. You can either grind the pin off, but then you risk the switch gear spinning and you have to put insulation tape, something like that around it to stop them spinning and it's just not as professional. Or you can drill a little hole in the handlebars, usually four millimeter, um, exactly where the locating pins go. But be careful of this because some handlebar manufacturers recommend you don't do this because it can weaken the bars. So you want to check that first. A neat little trick on how to do it is you put a bit of insulation tape around exactly or roughly where the locating pin is going to go. Sit on the back, get the switch gears in the right position and press down on the switch gear and that puts a little mark exactly where the locating pin will go onto the tape. Um, the tape has two uses, so you, you, you know the position of the locating pin from pressing it in, and also when you're drilling it, the drill bit doesn't spin off. Nice little trick, and I'll show you how to do it now.
So all the controls are on, next is to fit the front brake lines and bleed up the brakes. So now your front brakes are done, final thing is to check over everything 
Make sure all the switch gears, the cables, everything's all root, rooted right. Make sure everything's nice, neat, tidy. Your throttle retracts properly, your front brake it works properly. Fire the bike up, run it. Check it from steering lock to lock to make sure that the throttle's nice and free and it doesn't rev. Um, and go over all your torque settings. Final checks, wipe it down, make sure it's all nice and clean. Get all the brake fluid off. Brake fluid can damage paintwork and everything, so make sure everything's off if you've spilt any. Then sit on the bike, test it, see how it feels, see if you're happy with it. And the final thing is to take it for a test ride. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications.